So Chelsea have found themselves bouncing back from their woeful defeat last weekend at St. James Park by getting all three points against Brighton at Stamford Bridge. This match was not an easy task for the boys in blue and saw them have to pull a few tricks to overcome Brighton, one of which involved Pochettino's tactics on set pieces. In today's video, we will look at how Chelsea were able to secure all three points despite playing with 10 men once again. First, we need to address the formation that was utilized by Pochettino for this match. Due to injuries and suspensions, Chelsea once again had to shuffle their back four, which saw DeSassi, Matashield, Thiago Silva, and Cowell, which meant that four CBs, and funny enough, that is not the first time that Chelsea have set up this way. As for the midfield, the classic three of Enzo, Casado, and Gallagher made up the middle of the pitch, but did change once Gallagher was booked twice. As for the attacking portion, Mudrick and Sterling made up the wings with Jackson as the number nine. So we need to talk about the tactics on corner kicks that Chelsea did against Brighton because obviously Pochettino was looking at something while he was looking at film for Brighton because we scored almost two identical goals here. Now the first one we saw was way across the back post. So again, played all the way past this place and Battishield, who was able to get the ball, kick it back over his head, which again is quite remarkable. And we saw Silva or um, Fernandez be there and head the ball in. And therefore, again, you're thinking Fernandez of all players to win a header inside the box is quite remarkable, but really, when the ball's driven all the way across, the entire field has to shift this way, and therefore, again, as it goes this way, everyone's not really watching when other players are sitting, and therefore, again, it left Enzo actually free for a header to score that goal. Now, off the second one, which again was almost identical as well, we saw the ball playing over the top, we saw Jackson this time head the ball back, and we saw Cobell, who's at the back post. Yes, it was over the line, it was obviously needed by the goal line technology to see that, but still, two identical goals, two quick goals, bang, bang, which again helped Chelsea get the lead, and obviously we'll talk more about this match, but this was a big driving point, how Chelsea were able to win this game. On top of that, the two wingers were vital in this match. Both Mudrick and Sterling offered outlets for long balls, but they could also drive towards the Brighton defense and take a shot. While neither of them scored, Mudrick was involved in the final goal for Chelsea by being fault that led to the PK, which we saw Enzo Fernandez smash down the middle. And speaking of Enzo, if there was a match that Chelsea needed him to step up, this was that match. Not only did he score the opening goal for Chelsea and have a brace, but he was able to ping balls all game to find open players and just really break down Brighton's defense. While he did have one big error that almost led to a goal, him and Sanchez were able to get the ball safely. Along those lines, we saw Levi Kowal score his first Premier League goal with Chelsea, a big goal that came off a set piece, which was the second in a very short time frame. It seemed like Chelsea had been practicing since both goals were almost identical. Following the second goal, it seemed like Chelsea were going to have an easy win at home at Stamford Bridge, but before half, not only did Brighton score, but Gallagher was sent off for a second yellow, and you could be questionable, but really, when you are on a yellow, making tackles like that should not happen, especially when you are the captain. The fact that Chelsea now have back-to-back -back games where their captain was sent off is quite embarrassing. This has been one of the major issues with this young squad. They play with a lot of passion and a lot of drive and a lot of tenacity, but the problem is they create hard falls and do not have the mentality to realize that there's sometimes points in the game not to fall, and therefore, again, picking up reckless yellows, which see them get suspended or getting a red card. Luckily, Chelsea were able to hold on to the win, even though it was very controversial with a few calls that saw Brighton have their arms in the air because, again, there were some issues with the refereeing. But, again, we've been seeing this all season long, not just for Chelsea, but really throughout the Premier League. So, again, that is a whole other topic. But Chelsea were able to, again, get all three points, and now we're sitting with 19 points with 10 points off fourth place. Chelsea's next match will quickly come since they play midweek against Manchester United, who have also been kind of on a roller coaster this season with ETH. So again, Eric Ten Hag has been trying to get things going in the right direction, has been kind of struggling in parts of his match in this game. So therefore, again, this should be a game that Chelsea should strike and win and get all three points. If you enjoyed this content, please give this a like and subscribe if you want more content like this.